Well, lately, it's been sticker shock at the grocery store. We've been hearing about cucumbers selling for $3.49, cauliflower $8. It's making us think <laughs> twice about what we're actually picking to put in our cart. So registered dietitian Andrea Hallwagner is in with us this morning. You're giving us some great economical advice. It's Economical spicy. eating. Yes, yes, I was talking to the grocery store uh, clerk on checkout yesterday. Right. And she said people are very grumpy. I will, understandably <laughs> so. And you've been giving us some pretty staggering stats about how much more money people are going to be spending at the grocery store this year. Yeah, the University of Guelph has suggested we're probably going to be looking at about 345 yeah. extra dollars this year on the grocery bill for the average household. Unbelievable. Okay, so, well, the good news is it may force you to kind of figure out some other vegetables or you some bet. other fruits that you're not used to. You Let's bet. start with what you're talking about. And basically, it's about going to the grocery store and looking for the stuff that's on sale because you'll find some good deals. You, you just have so, to look. So whether you use an app to take a look at what's going on in the flyers or you right. show up at your regular store and, you know, yesterday when I was shopping, the kale was $1.28 or something. Right, so, right, right. Um, I went with this. Cabbage has such a longer life than lettuce, which was really expensive. So I went with this instead. So it's looking at what's seasonal, what's most local and what's being featured yeah. particularly in your store and starting there first. Yeah, and you do have to be savvy about even what stores you go to for what you want. Because you were telling me blackberries, you saw it for two for four bucks, but two I think I paid bucks, seven dollars for blackberries. You I bet, know, but what the I'm raspberries thinking. were eight ninety nine for one I of those know. little containers. So. Yeah, <laughs> so you have to be smart about it. Okay, and there's other options. Obviously not everything has to be fresh and in this you situation bet. you kind of have to make some changes. So what is some advice for things that you can get, you know, in the frozen so for, section or you bet, what have so you? Tomatoes, for example, yeah. they're not seasonal and awesome right now anyway so right. we use a lot of canned tomato products into um, the winter months really cost-effective and tasty yeah um, we use a lot of frozen vegetables some um, particularly peas or corn because the quality and taste are really good right some of the other ones <laughs> yes. I, I'm all on taste first <laughs> right, right? right so right. Um, your frozen fruits are great options if berries are really expensive right now um, and of course legumes so this is the year of the pulse yes. internationally so Keep hearing that. Um, so nutritional and so cost-effective to do more of those meatless Mondays yeah or even cutting let's say you're making a, a chili do half of the amount of beet and triple the amount of beans that you might do in your typical sense. recipe you have this concept you want to talk about and it says it's veggies driving dinner what do you mean by that you bet so often when I ask our clients what's for dinner tonight they yeah. always list something like salmon steak they list the protein and most right. of the time people are pulling those out of their freezer right and it's um, first thing they think about you yeah. bet and so what I want people to think about both nutritionally yeah but also from a budget perspective and reducing food waste is to have the vegetable be the first thing that you think about. Okay. Open your fridge, see what needs to be used first and let the vegetable drive the entire menu for the night. Right. And then you're not wasting as much. You bet. One of the other things you can do to bring down costs, of course, is to buy in bulk. Mm -hmm. However, if you don't make it through all of that food, it kind of, you know, negates the whole purpose. So what's the plan when buying in bulk and how cost effective can it truly be? You bet. And this is, a, it depends on the type of consumer you are. Okay. Um, so my husband would not buy this. No, he wouldn't he's buy a bag like, of no, we're never going to get through it. So right. he's just, he'd be better off buying a couple of everything. And that can really work. Okay. Um, for me, because I'm a culinary person, I look at this and this was this huge bag of pears were on sale. Right. I said, great, we'll eat some fresh. We'll stagger how quickly they come out of the fridge and put into the fruit bowl. We'll put them in salads. We'll cook some, right. some will go in oatmeal sure. and the list goes on yeah, because yeah, I have yeah, yeah. an ability to innovate. And right. so if you're really creative, that can work really well. If okay. you're not, Smaller portions are probably going to serve you better, so you're okay. not throwing them out. Okay, so pear omelets for everyone. <laughs> That's basically what you're saying, Andrea. Okay, we certainly appreciate that. And the other thing you just want to mention quickly is the amount of waste that happens in Canadian households. You, the amount of food that gets thrown you away. You bet. People are often more worried about how much they're buying. I'm actually more worried about how much people are throwing out. Yeah. So 40% of food produced in Canada wow. is actually thrown away. Unreal. And households have a lot that they can do. So when we look at $28 per week is on average how much food people are wasting. Um, it's really about really trying to be more mindful about leftovers. If, if you don't like leftovers, bring them to your colleague. Yeah, exactly. They'll love a free lunch the next day. Exactly, so yeah, think creative on how you can reduce that waste. Okay, Andrea, thanks so much for being here. You always bring us such great tips. Registered dietitian Andrea Hall-Wagner has, of course, her website, healthstandnutrition.com. Go there for more information.